Mu'min says, did Allah, did Allah's prophet and messenger, messengers ever sin? Did our prophet والسلام, sin? Well, this is an issue of dispute among scholars. The vast majority of all scholars of Islam say that prophets and messengers do not do major sins. And they all agree. Scholars of tafsir, scholars of aqidah, scholars of fiqh, that prophets and messengers may do minor sins, but they do not insist on them. Rather, they are pointed out and Allah Azza wa Jal rectifies it immediately. So Allah tells them that this was sinful and they immediately ask Allah for forgiveness and quit. And without going into details, the Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in the Quran that Adam, peace be upon him, made the sin and disobeyed Allah. And then Allah forgave his sin. Prophet Yunus, he left his people before taking permission from Allah Azza wa Jal. And he was blamed worthy for doing that. But then Allah Azza wa Jal, while he was in the belly of the whale, taught him how to say the dua, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka. Inni kuntu min al and Allah forgave that sin of his, and he became a better person. The Prophet والسلام, frowned, our Prophet والسلام, frowned in the face of the blind man, Ibn Ummi Maktum. So Allah revealed to him Surah Abasa wa Tawalla. And the Prophet sought Allah's forgiveness. The Prophet ﷺ accepted ransom for the prisoners of war of the Battle of Badr, where Allah Azza wa Jal relieved, revealed the verses of threatening his wrath in chapter 8, Surah Al Anfal. And the Prophet said, والسلام, if anywhere, any one of us were to escape Allah's wrath because of what we have chosen, the only one who would be saved was Umar, who said, no, we should not take ransom. We should execute the prisoners of war for what they had done to the Muslims. So there are many examples. This is not the time to go into details. But yes, the prophets and messengers may do minor sins, yet they do not insist on doing them. And Allah forgave that for them and Allah knows best.